Hey boys, welcome back to some more Broncos 2022 career mode. It is, it's been a minute. It's been a minute since we've, uh, we've uploaded one of these, but, uh, keen to get back into the action. It's going to be a round 11 clash against the, the West Tigers where, uh, we're looking in, I mean, our form's been good. Our form's been very good as we look at the, uh, the Tigers. They do have that, uh, that English import Gildart. Oliver, Oliver Gildart, is that what it was? Or Gilbert? <laughs> I think it was Gildart. <laughs> um, but I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how he goes, um, in the NRL. It's, it's sort of, you know, English imports. There's, there's definitely been some beauties. I, I would say mainly in the forward pack. I can't, I'm trying to think, have, have any of the, the English backs really done anything? I, I, I would say no, in all honesty. I feel like the the outside backs have not really excelled over in NRL standards. But, uh, you know, I, I'm, there's got to be one. There's got to be one coming over eventually. Um, I'm trying to think. Has it, I'm sure there's been one, right? Nah, probably not. Um, maybe you might say Ryan Hall, but, I mean, he didn't really get any, any real opportunity. He was solid enough, but... Uh, yeah, but uh, we'll start. We'll start proceedings here and uh, looking. Who kicked that? Was that Twile that kicked that? <laughs> Wasn't the worst kick of all time, but big fella Corey Oates is gonna rumble up uh, for first tackle. But uh, yeah, looking to continue the the winning momentum. Um, you know, unfortunately, uh, I think Cobo is is still out. I think he's our main our main injury uh, and, a, and a fairly lengthy injury as well, which is which is disappointing. Obviously, Tessie, uh, you know, I, I've said it before. I do think Tessie will probably get the fullback spot come NRL season in in real life. But Cobo is definitely, I would say, uh, I would suggest a long term future there. Or pretend, I mean, maybe he'll he'll just excel in the centres. You know, early in his career, like a Greg Inglis type, um, and and Latrell Mitchell as, as well as uh, Jermaine Asako here off the scrum is going to score a pretty easy try. Was just that that man Katoni Stags, just the 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 pressure, just the the intimidation of Stags running the ball, sucked in the defense and the Tigers. You know, I think it was I think it was that man Nofaluma's side. He, he is. I mean, I love Nofaluma. He's honestly one of the best wingers in the comp. Um, I feel like at, at times he gets a little bit over-criticized with his defense, but he is a guy that can make some silly silly reads in defense, and that time he, he jams in when wasn't needed. And uh, we open proceedings, but the Tigers here get a chance to hit straight back with uh, James Tamo going very, very close. Fifth and last, though. It's going to be good defense to hold him up. It's going to swing it back to uh, to Adam Dewey here. Puts in the kick. Or is it Dewey? Dewey? <laughs> he puts in the kick. And oh, my God. Oh, did, no one wanted it. Tessie was there. It just comes off his leg. No, it was Kelly. Kelly just didn't want a bar of it. He couldn't bend it down. I don't know. The hammies were, were a bit tight, I guess. Couldn't bend down and pick it up. And um, I think it was Luke Brooks that, that ended up pouncing on it. And uh, Dewey is going to convert the kick. Will convert the try to make it six points apiece. So disappointing way to concede a try there is a beautiful ball across Katoni. Stags through the hole, gets the pass. No, he doesn't. He just takes the, the hit before he threw the ball. Good, I mean, a good scramble by the Tigers. It was looking very, very ominous once again, spreading it out as the big shot comes in. Oh, no, Corey Oates picked the ball up. He kicks it. Oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> the big shot. Oh, I love doing that. It's a bit cheesy, but I love doing it off the scrums. And then Corey Oates, I didn't want to kick it. I just sort of, you know, it's one of those times where you... I thought they got rid of that when you, you press sort of X before you pick the ball up. But I don't know. Sometimes they... Yeah, it sort of like preempts the the kick, and then he uh, he couldn't pick it up. The big fella is uh, Tom Flegler. Beautiful play, he gets it off to eventually Herbie Farnworth, looking to kick it back on the inside for the chases. If it didn't get ricocheted off one of the Tigers players, it's uh, it would have looked very very good. I, I would have suggested, and I think um, we're gonna get the ball back off the scrum. A little bit unlucky, I uh, you know. It's one of those ones, was he playing at it? Probably not, but, I mean, he was going for the tackle, so he probably was playing at it. So we just kicked it straight into him, and we'll get the we'll get the scrum feed as a, a little slick off like there. But if the kick got through, I, I, I don't know. I feel like we had the chases there to, to make a contest of it, but uh, a beautiful little pass across Azarko through the gap, gets the pass back to Kurt Capel, and Capel is going to score in the... Uh, 
well, the latter stages of this first half. It was a beautiful... Once again, that, that play is absolute... It's our, it's our bread and butter, and usually it's Gatoni. It's uh, it stags through the hole, but that time it was a little bit of a shortened play, and Jermaine Asako got through. Beautiful ball back on the inside. Kurt Capel, ever reliable, has some good pace for a back rower, and uh, scores a nice try to get us back into the lead. But once again, uh, reminiscent of the first try, we're going to give the Tigers a chance to hit back straight away. So, yeah, disappointing to you know, give an error away off, you know, our next set. But uh, regardless, once again, good defense so far. It's going to be the fifth and last kick. It goes up and Herbie does a great job to get underneath it. So we should be able to hold our lead to the break as long as we don't do anything too silly as Corey Pakes out of dummy half gets a ball. Kelly onto Capel. We had the numbers, but... We'll take the we'll take the tackle. We'll take the lead into the into the halftime break. Twelve points to six. It's been, it's been a pretty even contest stats wise. As right there, Tessie just gets in the par, gets in the way of the pass. Then uh, big Kobe Hetherington just bombs off his left, right, and center. Honestly, an unsung hero last year, Kobe Hetherington. He was excellent. Um, yeah, showed some real aggression, showed some decent skill, and uh, yeah, good signs moving forward. Like he's just a good, hardworking forward you know he can play he can play in the middle he can well he's more of a middle player but uh yeah he just goes hard and uh, that's what you want to see that's what you want to see from a team that you know struggling a bit you just want those those young forwards to rip in you know you just want them to rip in come up with a few mistakes that's fine but you want them to go aggressive that's that's how you get out of sort of ruts as long as your defense is aggressive and you know all of that, it'll it'll turn, it'll turn, and I think uh, I think the Broncos have some of those young forwards coming through that you know aren't as flashy, but they they just have that aggression in their play, which I, I love to see. I love to see. Is Katoni again through the gap gets past the fullback, offloads to Jermaine Asako. Asako gets tackled, offloads to the Capel. Oh my goodness, how do we not how do we not score? The Tiger is very very impressive there to stop the try. It was great play again on this left side. It's it's just our dominant. Our dominant side, Azarko, Gatoni, and uh, yeah, somehow, somehow they scrambled. It was, it was, uh, it was a miracle effort to stop us there. As uh, four tackle now, looking for this left side again. Palacia, I don't know why, why is he so wide? Gets the pass back to Azarko there, or Gatoni maybe. As it's going to be fifth and last now, looking to uh, swing it to Kelly on the blind side. Puts the kick across field. It's a good one. Jordan Ricky passes off to Corey Hodes. The kick was just slightly too shallow. Slightly too shallow. Otherwise, it would have been a, a try for sure. But uh, the Tigers, once again, they, they keep they keep sort of holding their own in this one and getting themselves back into some sort of competition. It's going to be second tackle again with a chance. Jacob Little out of dummy half goes to the try line. He's going to sneak his way over. Our defense has been rock solid, but, you know, we just we just keep letting the Tigers back into the contest, and uh, they've made us pay once again. Little just uh, saw a couple of players not back, and I think it was Tessie. Tessie tried to make the grab. He had him up, but uh, no one came in to, to help him, unfortunately, and Little just with the, the power to, to sneak underneath him. So it's it's back to level peggings here, and uh, 10 minutes to go in the contest. The Tigers with uh, Luke Garner back on the inside. Dane Laurie, very dangerous up the middle there. I haven't seen him too much, but he's definitely their X-Factor player. So fifth and last now. Back to Dewey. He goes for the field goal. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the field goal, but we charge it down thankfully we're gonna look at the replay on this one because i wasn't actually anticipating it but then just uh i think it was thomas flegler gets up from marker dewey in a pretty good position a little bit close but yeah oh no it was <laughs> i mean it was great work by flegler but it was actually pain harsh just sort of just the big man standing in the way he cops the ricochet so uh very very lucky for us right there is herbie gets us out of a little bit of bother and uh yeah Dangerous, dangerous as uh, Reynolds puts in a great early kick downfield. It's not going to be a 40-20. And then Dane Laurie. Oh, no. Laurie gets through. Laurie is not going to be caught. Herbie can't catch him. Turpin can't catch him. Who is this? Kelly comes from the blind side. He goes for the field goal. What are you doing? <laughs> he goes for the field goal. <laughs> He's... He would have scored the try, but he, go he goes for the one-pointer, which led us catch him oh my god i cannot believe it um as surely a knock on there i don't know what happened this game is going just absolutely 
just crazy is do what he goes for oh my god what is happening in this game we we, we're gonna lose we're gonna lose this contest we just haven't we we didn't have any chances in the back end or we were just giving away opportunities with silly passes and and loose carries but Dewey just nails one from like 30 odd meters out on a bit of an angle they bombed it like two times and then all of a sudden Dewey just just nails one from a distance and uh that's that's gonna be the ball game honestly we 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 squandered our we squandered our opportunities um both teams probably deserve to lose this one but uh we're gonna be on the on the rough end of that one so hopefully you guys are enjoying this series make sure to like and comment and i'll see you in the next one